Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into Poison Distribution. Now, Poison Distribution is a probability distribution that represents the number of events that occurs in a fixed time and space. This is the definition of Poison Distribution. It represents the total number of events that will occur in a particular fixed time and space. The formula of Poisson distribution is given something like this. Probability of x equals to x is represented by e to the power minus lambda multiplied by lambda to the power x divided by x factorial. You can see here it is given that lambda is nothing but the average rate of occurrence of events in the interval. And x here represents the total number of events. Poisson distribution is a very important and significant topic. A numerical on this particular topic will surely be asked. So, here in this particular video, we'll be solving two most important numericals of Poisson distribution. The very first numerical will be simple and straightforward based on this particular formulation. And the second numerical will be a little twisted one. So, let's jump into the numerical and solve each numerical step by step. So that by the end of this particular video, you will become pro in solving the numericals of Poisson distribution. So here is our very first problem. And the problem says that we have a variable which follows Poisson's distribution. It has a variance of 3. Now this is the given data. And we have to calculate first the probability at x equals to 2. And next we have to calculate the probability at x greater than or equal to 4. Now, the very first thing that we need to note that here variance is given in the question. Now, what is variance? Now, when we talk about the Poisson's distribution, here there is one thing to note that variance is nothing but mean and we represent mean by lambda or we can represent it by m. Here, as per our formula, here variance is represented by lambda and as per the very first question, here we are given with the lambda value that is 3. So variance is nothing but lambda. Now with this we have to calculate the probability at x equals 2. So let's jump in and solve this particular problem. So now we know that lambda is given to us and it is nothing but 3. As per the formula, we have probability of x equals to x which is given by e to the power minus lambda multiplied by lambda to the power x, the whole divided by x factorial. So we know here we have lambda equals to 3 and we have x equals to 2. So let's plug in these values and let's find out the probability at x equals to 2. So here we'll get e to the power minus lambda is 3. So e to the power minus 3 multiplied by lambda to the power, lambda is 3, so 3 to the power x, x is 2 here, divided by x factorial which is nothing but 2 factorial. Now you may use your scientific calculator and calculate this particular value. We know that 3 to the power 2, that is 3 square is nothing but 9 and we know that 2 factorial is 2. Now if we solve the numerator value, we will get 0 0.4480 and the denominator is 2. So 0 0.4480 divided by 2 is nothing but 0 0.2240. So we got our probability at x equals to 2, which is nothing but 0 0.2240. So this is how we have to calculate it. I hope this simplest problem is clear to you all. So we are not done with the entire first question. We are just done with the very first part of the question, which is probability of x equals to 2. Now let's jump into the next part of the question. And it says to calculate the probability at x greater than or equal to 4. Let's write the question. So the second part of the question is to find out the probability of x greater than or equal to 4. Now, if we look at the very previous question, we were having the precise value of x that is 2. But here in this particular scenario, we don't have the precise value of x. We have a condition x greater than or equal to 4. So there might be n number of possible values for x to have. x can be 4 since it is 
since it can be equal to 4 also, it can be 5, it can be 6, it can be 7, it can have any value till infinity. So, to find out the probability of x at each of these particular values is very much difficult or rather it is impossible. So, we will have to think differently. Is there any other way to find out the solution of this particular scenario? Here you can see we are given with one condition. If you carefully observe, here we have to find out the probability. And a probability can never be greater than 1. The highest probability that we can have for any particular event is always 1. So we know that the highest probability is 1. So we can simply reverse this particular condition. By simply writing this particular condition, probability of x greater than or equal to 4 is nothing but 1 minus, we can simply now reverse this particular condition, that is probability of x less than 4. Why I have written less than? Because in this particular case, x is greater than or equal to 4. Here, 4 was also included, but when we reverse the condition, 4 has to be excluded in this particular case. So, that is why I have written probability of x less than 4. Now, when we represent this particular condition in this format, it becomes very easy for us to calculate the solution for this particular scenario. So, we have very handful of numbers that can accommodate the value in x. That is, x, it can be 0, it can be 1, it can be 2 and it can be 3 because x is lesser than 4. So, we can have these four conditions. So, now we have got the values of x. We can simply one by one calculate the probability of x equals to each one of this number and we can simply find out the solution. So, let's do that. So, probability of x greater than or equal to 4 becomes 1 minus probability of x equals to 0. The first case is probability at x equals 0 plus we can simply add all these probabilities. Probabilities of x equals to 1 plus probability at x equals to 2 plus probability at x equals to 3. We can simply now calculate this. Now we know the formula. We have each individual values of x. We have the formula for finding out Poisson distribution's probability. We can simply represent the entire formula. We can simply represent it in this particular scenario. So, probability at x equals to 0 becomes e to the power minus lambda. We have lambda value i as it was given in the question that variance is nothing but 3. So, here e to the power minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power x, here x is 0, divided by x factorial, x here is 0, so 0 factorial. Plus, now in this particular case, everything remains same, just in place of x, we have to write 1. So, e to the power minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 1, divided by 1 factorial. Now, in this particular case, we have x equals to 2, so e to the power minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 2, divided by 2 factorial plus e to the power minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power here x equals to 3. So, 3 to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial and that's it. Now, you can simply use scientific calculator and find out the values of each individual terms here. And don't forget that we have 1 here. We have to subtract this entire term from 1. So, don't forget this one. Now, the first term boils down to e to the power minus 3 multiplied by Anything raised to 0 is always 1 divided by 0 factorial is 1 plus second term e to the power minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 1 is 3 divided by 1 factorial is 1 plus e to the power minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 2 that is 3 square which is 9 divided by 2 factorial is 2 plus e to the power minus 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 that is 3 cube which is nothing but 27, 27 divided by 3 factorial which is nothing but 6. One pro tip, don't just write the final answer by putting all these terms into the calculator at once. Show each and every possible step so that you will have no place to lose marks. Now, in the next step, we can simply write the values of each individual terms. 
So 1 minus this entire expression boils down to the value 0 0.0497 plus the second term becomes 0 0.1493 plus the third term becomes 0 0.2240 plus the fourth term becomes 0 0.2240. Now we can simply add all this. So this becomes 1 minus 0 0.647. And 1 minus 0 0.647 is nothing but 0 0.353. So we got the value for probability of x greater than or equal to 4. So this is the probability. So this is how you have to calculate the probability of given conditions. So I hope the very first problem is clear to you all. And I hope that if any of the problem comes like this, you will be able to solve it easily. If you have any doubts, you can straight away put it in the comment section. Now, we are done with the very first problem. Now, let's try to jump into the second problem, which is a little twisted one for which you have to think a little bit. So, let's jump to the second problem. And the second problem goes something like this. The number of typos found in a manuscript follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of two typos per page. Note that we are given with the value of mean, which is nothing but lambda, that is two. So the average rate of occurrence of these typos per page is two. Now we have total pages as 500. Out of 500 pages proofread, we have to find approximately these two things. The first thing is that we have to find out the number of pages with no typos at all. Here we don't have to find out the probability, we have to find out the total number of pages with no typos. And note that these will be approximated value. Second thing, we have to find out the total number of pages with four or more typos. So there are two conditions given over here. With these two conditions, we have to find out the number of pages. Now, pause the video and try to think what can be done to find out the number of pages for each and every scenario. Do you want to check out this attractive funny memes? Then what are you waiting for? These are just a glimpse of the memes that I've created on my Instagram page. You can find the link to my Instagram handle in the description box. Please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes. These are not just memes. These memes and reels contain technical information. Here, I try to relate memes with the technological concepts. So, please do appreciate that by watching all those. And if you love it, please hit the follow button. So, first, as per the question, let's write what we, what all things we have. First, we have lambda value as 2. Second, we have the total pages, total number of pages as 500. Now, from these 500 pages, we have to find out the number of pages with no typos. So, our very first condition becomes typos equals zero. We want that there, there should be no typos present in that particular page. Now, to find out the number of pages that have no typos at all, we'll have to find out the probability for it. So, basically, here x is nothing but your typos. So we can simply boil this down to x equals 0. So our very first condition is nothing but probability at x equals 0. First, we have to find out the probability. Once we found out the probability, then we can simply find out the total number of pages with no typos. Now, this was the first condition. Secondly, it is said that the number of pages with four or more typos. So here, the total typos that one page can accommodate can be four or it can be more. So it is greater than or equal to 4. So our condition, so this is our condition. We can simply find out the probability of this. And there we go with the second condition that the probability of x is greater than or equal to 4. So we got our two conditions. These are the two scenarios for which we have to find out the probabilities. And once we got the probabilities, we can simply find out the total number of pages. So let's go for each condition one by one, starting with the very first condition of probability of x equals 
zero. That means probability at which the typos are equals to zero. We have lambda value as two, as stated in the question. Let's simply plug in the value of it in the formula. The Poisson distribution probability formula is e to the power minus lambda multiplied by lambda to the power x, the whole divided by x factorial. Now we have probability at x equals 0. x value here is 0 and lambda value in the question given it is 2. So e to the power minus 2 multiplied by 2 to the power x equals 0. So 2 to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial. Now you can simply plug in this particular expression into the scientific calculator and get the answer. It boils down to e to the power minus 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 1, which is nothing but 0 0.1353. So we got the probability of x equals to 0, which is nothing but the probability at which the typos are 0, 0 0.1353. Now, if we look carefully at the question, we are asked with the total number of pages with no typos. Here we found out the total number of pages probability that have no typos. Now we have, now to find out the total number of pages with no typos, we have to simply multiply the probability with the total number of pages. Here in the question, total number of pages is given as 500. So if we multiply 500 with this particular value, that is probability, we simply get the number of pages with no typos. So therefore, we can simply write number of pages with no typos, that is x equals 0, is nothing but probability at x equals to 0, that is typos equals to 0, multiplied by the total number of pages. So we can simply write total pages. So we have the probability at x equals 0, it is nothing but 0 0.1353 multiplied by total number of pages are 500. So when we multiply these two values, we simply get 67.6676. Now, pages cannot be in this particular decimals. It has to be a whole number. So that is why we can simply approximate this to 68 pages. So, we got the total number of pages with no typos, that is 68. So, therefore, we can write there are 68 pages with no typos. Now, we got our very first scenario solved. So, we got this particular thing. Now, we have to jump into the next scenario, that is probability at x greater than or equal to 4. So, if you remember, we had the same condition in the previous example. Pause the video and try to solve this particular condition on your own and then finally check your answer with the correct answer. So now let's solve this particular second condition that is probability at x greater than or equal to 4. So as per the second condition, we have to find out probability of x greater than or equal to 4 which is nothing but 1 minus we have to reverse this particular condition because we, we never knew all the possible values that x can accommodate. It can be up to infinity. So, since probability highest, since highest probability value can only be 1, therefore we can simply reverse this particular condition by subtracting it with 1. So, probab so 1 minus probability of x equals to 0 plus probability of x equals to 1 plus probability of x equals to 2 plus probability of x equals to 3. So we can simply find this and we can get the answer to this particular condition. Now we have our formula for x equals to 0. It is e to the power minus lambda. Lambda, lambda in our case is nothing but 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 0 since x is 0 divided by 0 factorial plus the second term will be e to the power minus lambda that is minus 2 multiplied by lambda that is 2 raised to 1 because x is 1 divided by 1 factorial plus the third case will be e to the power minus 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 because 2 is the x value in this particular case. The whole divided by 2 factorial. Now next term becomes e to the power minus 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 3 divided by 3 factorial. So this is what we got. Now we can simply solve each term and get the answer. So 
the first term boils down to the value 0 0.1353 plus the second term boils down to the value 0 0.2706 the third term boils down to the value 0 0.2706 and the fourth term boils down to the value 0 0.1804. So this is what we got. Now we can simply add the second term and get the final value. So 1 minus the entire expression boils down to a value 0 0.8569. And when we subtract it with 1, we get 0 0.1431. So this is the probability at x greater than or equal to 4. But we are not at the end of this particular numerical because we have to find out the total number of pages with the total typos greater than or equal to 4. So to find out the total typos, we have to write this. Total pages with 4 or more typos is nothing but probability at x greater than or equal to 4 multiplied by the total pages which is nothing but 0 0.1431 multiplied by total number of pages is 500 and we get the value as 71.55 now this approximates to 72 pages. So we got our very final answer that there are 72 pages with four or more typos. So we got this particular answer. So I hope it is clear to you all that how we have to solve this particular problem. The second problem was a little tricky one. I hope it is very much clear to you all. If it is not clear, then I would recommend you to again watch that particular part of second problem. You will surely understand it. I hope both these problems are extremely clear to you all. If you guys have any single doubt in any one of this particular problem, then you can straight away put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And yes, for watching amazing, funny, technical memes, you have to follow me on Instagram page. There you will find tons of funny technical memes that will not only make you laugh, but it will also make you understand complex technical concepts. Please join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.